Hey, what's up everybody? Gibberish here. Excited to make a, a video on how to make a unique LVI profile using base LVI, as you can see here on my screen, and then applying some really amazing, cool features with altruism. So let's get into it. When you first come in to the game, maybe you're on a base profile like this. Maybe this is on your existing as well. You can, you can follow along and make the changes to your existing profile or go into LVI and make a new one. It should look like this. And when you download Altruism, the installer will pop up. You can use Altruism. He has an amazing installer <laughs> with lots of really cool setups for DPS, tank, healer, um, some different frame layouts. There's also different modes using class color, gradients, borders, background colors. So I, I highly recommend checking out Altruism. But for this instance, we're actually going to skip the install and leverage Altruism in the background. So by skipping the install, I now have it within LVI and I can apply specific settings that I want for this profile. So we'll hop in, into that in just in just a few minutes. But to get started, I'm gonna make some adjustments to the LVI profile. So let's go into the individual units. On some of my new profiles, I've been really liking this spaced power bar look with it being kind of high. So let's change it up to about 15. Looks awesome. If you want to change the power to be on the left-hand side or the right-hand side, you can detach it from frame and, and adjust however you want. But if we're using spaced, it'll stay on the frame like this unless I hit detach. But I can also come into general and switch the frame orientation. So if I choose right, the power will be moved over to the left. On left, it'll be put over to the right. If I have it in the middle, the power bar, you can see it's barely just spaced on the edges, but it'll be in the mid. So I typically like this look on the left-hand side. We can then come into general here, actually I'm already there, and let's adjust the height of the frame. Looks almost a little too thin. Let's change up to 40. And let's adjust the width here to 250. That looks great. So now I can do the same for the target. 250, 40, let's go into the power, spaced, and the height that we had was 15. Target to target, make the height a little bit smaller, power spaced, looks like it's already set to middle, so we'll go back into general, change the frame orientation. And then we can change the height here a little bit too. It looks a little too high. I like the power like that for target to target. It's not too, not too big. Now, since we're in target to target, let's actually go into name. And we're going to delete this because we're going to use custom text. And we're going to use some of the altruism custom text to apply some gradients to the frames. So I'm going to delete that. We're going to go into target, name, delete this as well health text we're gonna delete and there's power text as well so now we just have a nice clean clean frame we're gonna do the same for the player power you could use these texts if you wanted to and just move them into custom text to customize it a little bit but we're gonna start fresh and we're gonna use um, some gradient text from altruism but you can use these if you want. Okay, so this looks great. I'm gonna toggle anchors. I'm gonna move up the frames a little bit. I typically have them up in this region. <laughs> um, and then I typically will have weak auras in the middle. But let's take a look here, 342. Oh, we were like right on. Nice. Let's see. 432. So down one. 
They'll move the target frame back underneath. We can get this pixel perfect later. I won't spend too much time on that right now. And then let's move the focus frame up here a little bit too. So now I have the frames where, where I'll like them. Looks good. Now we can, we can honestly get right into this with Ultrism. So now that I've skipped the install here, I can come in and leverage a lot of different tools. So the first thing we'll do is go into unit frames and let's check out class color. So I'm gonna click on light mode and hit apply. Automatically going to apply really awesome colors here. So a pop-up will come up too where you need to reload. come back into LVI, into Ultraism. You can also do slash Ultraism if you wanted to. Back into unit frames. Let's apply some textures now. So we'll enable custom textures. I typically disable class textures, but if you wanted to, you can keep these enabled and choose specific class textures. Ultraism has custom class textures that you can use here. A lot you can come in and mess around with. I highly recommend just coming in and testing all this stuff out. But I'm going to disable that. Go into unit frames. Lots to choose from just within Ultraism. If you're using M Media Tag, there's literally hundreds more that you can choose from. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to keep it on Ultrium Blink. Very bright colors here. It's amazing. Right away, I mean, this already looks completely different than the base LVI, and that's because we're using altruism, right? Um, something else that we can make these pop a little bit, come into skins within altruism, shadows, enable general shadows. I like to apply this across everything, up to you. If you're using nameplates, if you're using auras on the, on the unit frames, completely up to you. We'll bump this up to about four and reload. Now see some nice shadows on the frames, the auras, the action bars, the left chat, right chat, every, everywhere you look. Next thing in LVI, let's apply some gradients here as well. So, altruism, go into gradient unit frames. Enable. I do it for aura bars. If you use the aura bars instead of the buffs, it's nice. Enable gradient power. You can see right away as I click into these, the changes that are happening in real time. You can also do a gradient backdrop. I love the gradient on the cast bar. So we'll enable that too. Do it for everything. You can change the gradient orientation if you want it horizontal or vertical. I typically have it horizontal. You can also turn on nameplates. If you're using LVI nameplates, you can enable gradients. I'll typically have it on horizontal as well. Since I made that change, we'll just do the, the reload as requested. Go back in, altruism gradients. A really awesome feature here is you can create your own gradient colors for nameplates and for unit frames. So even for Monk, if I wanted to come in and make a custom color, I could do that. Really awesome feature. I use this a ton in all my profiles. You can make the gradient super bright. Start out in dark. You could also use a texture to make this dark as well, but let's go fairly bright left and then maybe make this a little bit darker going in and you can do that for each class I'll typically go to like Orgrimmar or Stormwind a busy city um, or Valdraken and I'll just click on some players and adjust their their colors so I can get some real-time feedback on what it will look like but this is such an awesome feature um, you can come in and change the class colors NPC colors, cast bars. So now it's like this nice blue color. If I wanted to use class colors, we can. 
fully customizable for the player, target, nameplate colors. I love messing around with the power colors as well. Um, recently, I've been making mana into this like purple blue gradient. I thought it just makes it kind of stand out, but totally up to you if you want to keep it just normal blue color or even turn it into this like nice light blue. Let's see. Beautiful. And you can also adjust the gradient backdrop. So let me take some damage here. So in the backdrop, we can actually change this a little bit as well. Makes it stand out. Super nice. And pretty happy so far with how the unit frames are looking. The last thing that I'll that I'll do here is actually go back into skins, add-ons, LVI, and we can add a texture to all of the LVI frames, including this frame. So lots of options here. Tile one, two, three is one that I've been using a ton and I'm gonna use it for this video. Tile four, lots that you can do. Highly recommend checking these out too, but I've been loving tile three. And if you look closely, you'll see this texture now applied not only again to the unit frames, as you can see, but also to the loot window over here on the right, the left-hand side, and also in LVI. Very faint in some cases, you can come in back into the skin, add-ons, LVI. You can adjust this color too, if you wanted to make it more white or darker black. You can also change the transparency level on it here. So with that change, I could have hit cancel, but I'll just accept the reload again. Looking fantastic. I love the look already of this. So let's get some text now onto the unit frames. If we come into available tags, altruism names, lots to choose from here too. There's even caps mode. So any font that you have, you can actually make it into a caps font with this tag. Um, he has it for normal, normal font in white or this gradient font. So we're gonna copy this, come into unit frames, individual units, custom text, We'll name this whatever you want, jib name. You'll paste the text there and hit OK. Change the font size here. Let's use the new shadow outline, which is so good. I love it. And I made a mistake because actually we should have first gone into media and change the font for the entire layout. So let's actually do that really quick. Um, let's see, what should we use? Let's use just a Gotham Narrow Black. One button, it just applied that font everywhere throughout LVI, even like nameplates and things like that. It's a really great feature from Altruism. So thank you so much for adding that. Um, and I'll just choose that font here. Let's move this over to the left. Try 14, 16, that looks good. Bring it over a little to the right. Awesome. So easy way to change the font for the player frame and you would do the same thing now for the target, target to target, your group as well. In available tags, in health, there's also a gradient health text. Name is Jib Health. Now it's already automatically Gotham Narrow Black. Super nice. Let's check the font size for the name. Let's get it a little bit smaller. Move over to the right. Do the shadow outline. Move it up. Maybe a little too big. Make this a little smaller. 
Now, typically, if I'm using gradient names like this, I'll have a dark mode unit frame. And you can do that easily by just typing in altruism space color, hit enter, accept. And now you're in a dark mode with these gradient names. It looks really, really awesome. If we want to make the frame a little bit darker, you can come back into altruism. Gradient colors, the backdrop is what we're going to be changing here. So we make this a little bit darker. Maybe into a nice light gray. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I won't I won't uh, spend too much time going into like how I would do this for the target and target target. It's pretty simple. Same thing, you just copy paste into those custom text fields, adjust and copy what you've done onto the player frame. One cool thing that we can then do that I've done on a few other profiles is come into unit frames and altruism, models, and we can actually turn on a model effect for the power. You can see now this flowing smoke look. Do a slash reload, just to make sure that it's working properly and applied to the unit frames. Nice. Come back in here. Let's take a look at the party frame. And let's pull this up where we would typically have it, maybe around here. And I'll just quickly edit this. Make this 40. Let's make it a little longer into the power. Space it, 13. Let's get some vertical spacing too in between the frames. Nice. We will need to reload, just you can see some of the outline from the shadow adjusting the power. It's okay, just a reload. When in doubt, reload. Come into the name, we can delete that. Easy way to come in and get those text again. The custom text just come into the frame. Grab the health one. Come into custom text. Party health. Apply it there. Move it over to the right. Shadow outline. Move it up a little bit more. 16. Let's grab the health text. Jib party health. Shadow outline. Nice. So let's reload. Open up LVY again. Test out the frames. Looks awesome. You may just move the roll icon bottom left. Lots you can do with the roll icons and other things coming into Altruism skins. A lot of custom icons. He also has some new ones that just were implemented. Let's try out this iconic one. But you can also do enable altruism icons for raid assist and leaders. These crowns are awesome and look great on the frames. Open up LVY. Nice, looks great with those new icons on there. 
this is part one of a part two series where I'm just getting set up with a LVI profile and using altruism to quickly, you know, this has been about 20 minutes, make a super unique profile that stands out with these awesome power bars, gradients, skins, super easy to use. I'll do altruism color again, just to show you the the gradient and, and brightness of these class colors with altruism. But this is part one, part two, I'll hop in right where we're gonna stop here and go into some other layout options. And we're actually gonna apply a media tag to get a sweet data bar at the bottom, some additional icons, colors, and options. So thanks for watching the first one. Let me know what you think and what else you would do in a profile to make it stand out. See you on the next one.